It was good. Peace, light, and love to the planet, to everybody watching. This is another um, installment of the Mobile Vlog. As you see, I am not doing this from my usual location because I've had some fuck shit happen to me and I am no longer, but hopefully back soon or later at my, <laughs> my usual spot. So, this is actually a little bit special to me though because right now I'm actually in my bedroom where I was raised and I spent 30 years of my life. Yes, I moved out of my house when I was 30. Don't judge me, <laughs> but I was a mama's boy and I enjoyed my mama's cooking. And um, you know, this is the room where I used to be in. Now that I've been in different places, I look back at this room and say, damn, it was really small. <laughs> it was really small, but um, you know, I, me, it was actually a time when me and my two brothers shared this, um, shared this space together. And then um, my middle brother, Nathan, who um, rest of the day, got rest of the day, he passed away. He said, no, I cannot sleep in there with two boys. And he wound up sleeping in the living room at one point. So we made it work. And you know, this is up in the projects of the South Bronx. Shout out to all my BX people. What up? I'm from Side 169 If y'all familiar with my music, y'all know that's where I'm from. And that's where I'm recording this from, so. Hey, so I did a little poll on my Instagram, and y'all can follow me at Mogul in Real Life. I will put the my at down in the description of this video. Um, basically asking what should I do on my blog on? Should I do it on um, should I do it on um, sports? Because I did a couple about basketball, about the NBA, or should I do it on love? Now, I would love to do one on love. I ain't gonna lie, but. I gotta get a little bit more in depth and I kinda have a personal situation that I'm going through. So when I do that, it's going to be a lot that I wanna get into. I have a lot to say. So please bear with me. Um, what I wanna take this time out and I just wanna say, you know, I'm recording this a day after the trade deadline. So I just wanna um, first say, it's been a really, a really crazy NBA tra trade deadline. Like it's never, I haven't seen one like this in like 10 years, you know. Every team has, to some extent, made themselves better or worse because some teams are looking to become um, contenders and some teams don't want to contend at all. So they have gotten rid of a lot of their best players in order of um, clearing salary cap space so that they can hopefully sign a free agent this summer. Because from what I'm hearing, this is probably the last good free agent summer because in the next couple of years, it's really going to be dead. So a team like the Lakers, uh, they was all in the race to supposedly trying to get Anthony Davis. That didn't work out for them. I'm laughing at them. You know what I'm saying? I was laughing at my friend about it because, you know, y'all look stupid. Y'all got boo in your face. Y'all put messed up all the team morale because you're going to put all this trash into one bag and then try to shove them off for a gem. You can't trade trash for a gem. You know what I'm saying? Granted, I talked about it in my last previous vlog about how yet certain players that they are packaging are good or may have potential like Kuzma. It was not the right look. Shout out to the New Orleans Pelicans. I'm a new fan. Um, let's see, the, let's, coming on East, the Philadelphia 76ers, I have to give them their credit. I mean, they picked up Tobias Harris, who has always been uh, close to all-star caliber player. I think, I believe he made the all-star team this year. And he, he going to that team is a great look for them. What can you say? What can you say? I'm looking at their lineup. Ben Simmons, J.J. Reddick, Tobias Harris, Jimmy Butler, Joel B, whoever they have on their bench. They are formal, formidable team, talent. They're going to be a problem. We have to, I'm a Celtic fan, as y'all know. We all have to take heed and pay attention to what they're doing. I don't believe they have enough shooting. And to get that chemistry together in this last 30 games of the season going to be tough. We'll see how that plays out. But I have to pay attention to Philly because we, we have been beating them. We beat them in the regular season, and we beat them last year in five games in the playoffs. Um, Toronto, they picked up Mark Gasol from um, Memphis. I find that to be crazy. Like, that's crazy. Um, I, I was hoping the Celtics picked him up. You know what I'm saying? Because Marcus was a very skilled, talented player. He fits in them near every scheme where you can pass, cut, 
have a, a big man who shoot. He plays defense. He's been a defensive player of the year. He's 34 years old. He has always been a talented player. That is a great pickup for Toronto. They're a very formidable team. I'm definitely paying attention to them. And they got rid of Valachunas, but Valachunas was one of the guys that was busting my Celtics ass. So after the, I'm like, eh, we see. I, I read some place on Twitter that uh, they said that Al Horford has his way against Mark Gasol, but we'll see what happens in the seven game series. Toronto, so we'll see y'all. I still think we're better than y'all. This will lead me up to the Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah, they picked up um, Nikolai Mirotic, three-point gunner. He he has went from the Bulls to New Orleans. Now he's a Buck. That's one thing that they needed was shooting. Um, for them to pick up a guy like him is like I'm just like damn, the Bucks are real. Like we have to literally take the Bucks out and shoot them because that's probably going to be the only way to kill them. Vegas odds right now are saying that they are the favorites to be in the NBA Finals this year. Who knows, man? I still put my Celtics above everybody. I feel like we have the best talent, you know, but anything can happen in the playoffs, and that's why they play the games. So, salute to them. Um, there's so much going on in this house, I'm sorry. And I'm not even going to edit this. I'm pretty much going to go 10 minutes straight. So, what I'm thinking about is that, you know, we have, so now the Celtics, we didn't make any moves. But we're actually in a great position to get Anthony Davis. But Anthony Davis' father does not want him to be a Celtic. Does not want him to be a Celtic. Because we did Isaiah Thomas wrong and Paul Pierce wrong. Ah. Man, shut up. First of all, Isaiah Thomas, my guy, salute you. You know what I'm saying? I-T. When he played for the Celtics, he busts his ass bust. Yes, he busts his ass. Yes, during the playoffs, he lost his own his sister. God rest the dead. Um, he lost his two. He played his heart out for us. But nobody talks about how he said, I want the Celtics to bring back up the Brinks truck and pay me. My guy, Isaiah, you my guy. You my guy. You are about to be 30 years old with a bad hip and you're 5'7". Maybe you're 5'6". We have to take you out for defense. They always throwing the ball to a guy posting you up. You can't play in this league, man. Like you, you, I hope you come back and be healthy, but you can't. You, 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 you were not the guy in today's NBA. Sorry. So it was a business decision. We got Kyrie Irving out of it. We sent you on your way. You were supposed to get healthy in Cleveland and ball out. Oh, then LeBron trades you to the Lakers. You go to the Lakers for some reason, it didn't work out, and your hip was still bad. And now it's about to be the end of this season and you're just about to go play your first game this year for the Denver Nuggets. But people want to get mad at the Celtics when they made a business decision and you have not played more than 10 games or 20 games in the past two and a half years. Miss me with that. <laughs> Miss me with that. Um, and Paul Pierce, had, Paul Pierce watched him on ESPN damn near every day. He loves the Celtics. You know what? They agreed to a trade for Pierce and Garnett to go to Brooklyn. Come on, man. If that trade didn't happen, we wouldn't have Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. Basketball is business, business is basketball. Don't ever get it twisted or confused. So, shout out to all your teams. Oh, I didn't even get to talk about the Knicks and what they did. They cleared up a bunch of cap space, and who knows, Kevin Durant, Kyrie, <laughs> um, Jimmy Butler, they, all these guys, they have a chance to get there. Some of the Knicks did great moves. Salute to the Knicks. I'm a New Yorker. I don't hate the Knicks. I just want them to not suck. So hopefully next year is the next year. And that's I'll leave it on. I'll leave it on that note. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't. I'm Esther Mogul. I will. <laughs> hopefully. But the next one I'll be back in my usual spot recording this. But I actually like this one because I'm standing up. You get to see me. And I'm always going to keep this going. This is the Mogul Blog. Love and peace. Like and subscribe. Let's make this thing through a million views. Peace. Go Celtics.